you know, within the, uh, the, the party, the Chinese Communist Party, there are people who favor reforms, opening up. There are also people who are more ideologues, those more conservative, uh, trying to stay uh, with the traditional understanding of Marxism, Leninism, and Maoism. So there are different uh, uh, forces within the party. Um, and of course, this uh, search for meaning is a universal, it's a universal human thing. It's not just the Chinese. And uh, even yeah, the Communist Party members also need uh, uh, meaning. Uh, in the past, uh, the ideology may have provided that meaning, sense of meaning. But uh, during the reforms, when all kinds of value systems happen, uh, exist in society, there's uh, conflicting value systems, so they need to sort out. So uh, it's not surprising to see uh, many, well, more and more communist party members uh, like uh, religion, practicing religion, or at, at least experimenting with practicing or believing in religion. Only that now is not open, it's secret, because the uh, communist party constitution still uh, does not allow religious believers to be party members. But this can, can there could be change. Right? Uh, uh, the party could uh, adjust its constitution to allow believers uh, to be party members. Uh, we, we have seen discussions, open discussions on this. Um, so, and this also, uh, in China, this period of time, the market transition there are, seems to be more people uh, search for new meaning uh, than in other places, say in America. American society has been very stable. Uh, there's no big ups and downs uh, in, in society. But China has been in this uh, fast track of change, modernization. Uh, market economy is only one aspect of the economic, economic change, but also there's a rapid urbanization, and there's um, uh, industrialization, and also uh, globalization, uh, closely uh, more and more integrated in the global uh, system. Uh, there's a huge migration, uh, migrants from the rural areas to the cities and from the west to the east, uh, from north to south. Those change. When there's a dramatic changes, it created more opportunities for individuals to think about the meaning of life. Why am I here? Why am I in this uh, situation? Uh, what's the uh, answer? Is there are some, some forces beyond this world that's visible, uh, that's uh, supernatural. Uh, there's uh, some forces there. So it uh, drives people to think more about religion. And uh, so uh, this rapid social change created this uh, situation for people to, to think about this, more so than in the stable societies uh, like in the U.S. So there, you know, when people live in a stable uh, society, there's a less uh, uh, forces for them to think about those uh, big questions. That's my, my view. <laughs>